Hi, I'm Nicola Smith. I'm a director at Niche Planning Studio and I'm a national board member from Victoria. Hi, I'm Jess Noonan. I'm a principal town planner with Track Consultants and co-founder of Planning Exchange Podcast. Nice. Yeah, and why is Congress important to you? Why is Congress important to me? Well, I, as a board member, um, obviously I have a particular reason to be here. We come and we set a strategic direction for planners um, and PM members across the country. But also I find that the conference lets me be inspired and catch up with old friends. Totally agree. Um, the inspiration <clears throat> that's gained from um, watching an array of different speakers that I've never seen before, um, particularly a lot of the international um, speakers and keynotes has been really amazing. Um, you always go back to work feeling very inspired and um, very proud to be a planner. Good. Hmm. Any ideas from Congress that you're going to be taking home with you? Ah, um, oh, well I did this awesome session yesterday. I chaired a session all about um, it was about political advocacy, but realistically it was trying to understand the benefits that people gain from living in certain areas over, um, over others. So essentially it was a game that we played with M&Ms and it really gave a, a practical example as to if you lived closer to the M&M container, you got more M&Ms, if you lived further away, you got less. And it was really cool because it kind of showed you the um, advantages and disadvantages that people can have based on their location and I think that's something that I could take back to um, use in the office. So how, how many M&Ms did you eat? 73, I Ooh. won, I got an extra 10 because I won, so 83 M&Ms. <coughs> that's, so. that's amazing, that's <laughs> amazing. Well I just went to a really amazing session um, with the town planner now turned hypnotist actually, um, oh, which is really that. interesting. So we spoke a lot around um, cups and having different cups and um, what level those cups need to be before your work-life balance is sort of thrown out. So that was really, really interesting. And wasn't one of my staff <laughs> hypnotised or something? She was indeed. Yeah, random. So she wasn't going to go to this session and then we said, no, no, no come along, you'll really love it. And she ended up being up on stage hypnotised, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> and very briefly, how has Pia helped you in your careers? <clears throat> Jess, how has Pia helped you? Well, well, we met through Pia, which I think is... This is, is a better for the networking <laughs> opportunities that I've that I've had through Pia have been incredible. Um, I've been coming to Congress now for probably close to ten years. Um, how many years have you been coming, Nicola? Uh, <laughs> she's trying to point out that she's slightly younger than me. Um, I, my first Congress was when I was nineteen, and I'm thirty-nine, so a wee while. But um, for me, it's just been really beneficial. I've moved states and I still have a, a great connection of networks from Perth and from Victoria. It allows me to work in Tasmania. It's and you know just, everyone. The networking is brilliant mm. and you get great friends out of it. Exactly. 